This study revokes the old studies which state that the atom nucleus is constantly and centrally positive. Instead, it shows how the charge is positive in an interrupted form near two opposite and symmetrical sides of the circumference of the nucleus. This interruption in the positivity of the nucleus across the sides forces the electrons to follow the well-known elliptic trace. And this video demonstrates what happens inside the nucleus and how it affects the electron's track. If the nucleus charge is constantly positive, then the electron would have gotten stuck to it instead of spinning around it. The weak nuclear force transforms the upper quark into a lower quark in the proton. This is accomplished with the help of W and Z bosons, which in turn transforms the proton into a neutron. And therefore, the nucleus becomes a particle with no charge, since it now contains two neutrons. The atom remains without a proton for a short period of time. Then, in the next step, the bosons transform the lower quark into an upper quark in the neutron, making it a positively charged proton. So practically, there is a constant alternation between the positive and the neutral state of the nucleus. This is due to the existence of two neutrons instead of one neutron and one proton for very short periods of time. If the positive charge was located at the center of the nucleus, the electron's movement would have been a linear attack and escape-like movement instead of an elliptic movement. The positive charge is constantly jumping back and forth between two opposite and symmetric sides near the circumference of the nucleus. This is the only way in which the atom's identity can be conserved by the continuous spinning of the electron around its nucleus. And this is practically the purpose of the weak nuclear force, because it prevents the materialistic structure of the element from collapsing. We can observe how the electronic trace is always different, and its speed is also constantly changing according to the forces acting on it. Those forces are the electromagnetic force, the gravitational force, the kinetic centrifugal force, the different forces from the neighboring atoms, friction and others, like electronic repulsion for example. And the most significant force is the one coming from the proton, which sometimes causes the acceleration of the electron and deceleration in other times.